This is a part two of the integration between Cisco SD-WAN to the Microsoft Azure infrastructures. So in the previous video, uh, we have created the virtual appliance on inside the virtual hub and we connect to the finance vnet already. Now in the part two, we're gonna spin up the Azure firewall on top of it so we can have a security control on the branch on premise to the finance vnet that we have currently. The configuration that you're gonna see here in this part, it is not directly related to the Cisco SD WAN much, but it's gonna be more on the Azure side. So let's take a look how we configure it. First, we go to the resource group that we have the V Hub or Virtual WAN configured. Uh, normally, the virtual WAN that we spin up, it is not come up with the firewall features, so it is the normal virtual hub. But now we're going to convert it to the secure hub. So then we click on the convert to secure hub to get started. And then we select the hub that we want to have a security on top. Uh, then we click on the Azure firewall and we click on next and actually you can have a cscaler or the third party application the third party firewall on top of it but at this in this uh, part we're gonna focus only the actual firewall to connect to the virtual hub While we are waiting for it to successfully spin up, um, it takes a little while. Then we just check that uh, the actual firewall here, the status is still provisioning. And once it's successful, then uh, we can configure the policy uh, of the actual firewall later on. All right, now it is successful. You can see on the uh, arrow that it is already secured. Then we go to the resource group again and go to the firewall that we just spin up. Then we click on the firewall manager. And then you create the firewall policies there. You just name it uh, Southeast Asia Firewall Policies. The location is going to be the Southeast Asia uh, because you want it to be located over there. In this part, we're not going to touch anything about the DNS security or the, the, the TLS inspection. Then we just pass that. Then we only allow specific uh, application to transfer between on-premise branch to the finance vnet. So we have a secure shell enable so that means uh, we allow the secure shell from the remote side from the branch to the um, firewall on the vnet uh, to, to the vnet uh, host. And then we're gonna de deny ICMP, so we're going to block the ping. Between uh, sites. Yeah, the priority should be different, so we're going to change it. And after that, we just review. And create. Now the policy of the firewall is being created. We just need to wait for it to finish and then we just associate it to the, the hub.
right it should be curated already then we just go and click on that and manage association we are associated to the secure hub that we just created from the part one Okay, then we go to the secure hub that we have and just click on that then you can see that the actual firewall is being uh, processed because we just attach the the rules to it then we need to change the routing table a little bit because uh, otherwise the traffic will not come through the firewall so that's why we need to change the default route table uh, we have a static route from that. Uh, it's for the first rule is to the finance servers. The destination is the finance subnets, right? So this is like from the traffic from the branch. When when it goes to the network virtual appliance, then it goes connect to the default route table to the uh, one seventy two sixteen subnets, which is the finance. Vnet subnets, right? Uh, then we push the next hub to be actual firewalls, and if, when it comes back to the branch, to the ten dot zero slash eight, then we also push it to actual firewall as well. Then we click on review and create. At this time, the routing is being changed. So maybe we can just quickly test the connectivity between uh, site to site before the the route is actually in place, right? So let's take a look at the uh, server, which is the the server inside the finance vnet. Then we just connect to that. Now we are logging in to the server inside the finance vnet. And at this time the the route is not successfully configured over there, so we can just try to ping it first to ping it back to the branch. So as you can see here, it is pingable. So that that is that is not passing through the firewall at this time because it's still updating the route table and let's wait for it to be done and then we can try again so this is done already then uh, we can see that we cannot ping from the host on or on the server to the branch anymore that is confirmed that we have already configured the traffic to go through the actual firewall at this time. That concludes the part number two. Let's take a look at how we're going to configure the hub in the East US and connect to the hub in the Southeast Asia in part number three. Thanks for watching.